Welcome to 20 Minute Tech Tips, where we break down a specific task or software feature. I'm Liz. And I am Rachel. And in this episode, we are talking about how to search for mail in Gmail. We're talking about using Google's Gmail standard view online with JAWS. But before we get into the search aspect of it, let's talk a little bit about why you might want to use this feature and what it can do for you. Uh, I know I use it all the time when I'm looking for specific emails. You know, Rachel, if you send me an email, I'm, I'm you know, might want to filter it even further with using the subject words that are in the email or maybe even attachments. So, uh, you know, I think I think we use this feature in no matter what email we're using, we use this feature in a number of different ways. And so I thought we could just talk about a few of those. Right. I mean, most people who have email, you know, they get quite a few emails. And so being able to sort and filter them and search for specifically what you're looking for from a long time span sometimes is really powerful. Yeah, I completely agree. And especially with how many different places we can keep email. So in, in Gmail, you can organize your email in what they call labels, which are like folders in other email clients. So you'll hear that term labels and you can organize your email, but you know, sometimes I, I don't remember where a certain email might be. Maybe I've moved it somewhere. Right. Maybe I've made a rule for it or something like that. So I just think there are so many different reasons that search can be very powerful. So we're here in Gmail now. I want to also start by just saying that if you are new to Gmail and Standard View, or if you would like a refresher, you can stream or download our parts one and two Gmail training that we did several months ago from our webinars on demand page. And you can do that by going to freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. And you can locate that webinar and stream or download it in either MP4 or MP3 formats. So I'm here in Gmail, I'm logged into my account. And for the most part, and I'm just going to mention this, we went into a little more detail in our training. But when we navigate web pages, we use what's called the virtual PC cursor. And this is this allows us to read a web page like we would a document, we don't even realize it's on most of the time we just use the web page, you know, we navigate and we use the virtual PC cursor. But when we're using Gmail, for the most part, we're going to turn it off. And that is because Gmail is meant to operate much like a desktop application. And Google has provided a lot of keyboard commands that we can use to make it operate in this manner. So I'm going to make sure that my virtual PC cursor is off. I'm going to press insert Z Zulu. On. It was off. So I'll do that again to turn it off. Off. And there are several different ways to search. We're going to talk about three main things you can do when you search for mail. So when searching, you can search for things like who an email is from, who it's sent to, maybe some words that are in the subject or the body of the email, whether the message has an attachment, and so on. There are a lot of different parameters for searching and filtering your email. And, you know, this is extremely useful if you are looking for, you know, maybe emails that have the word blog post or emails that have the word receipt in them or, you know, anything like that. And you can really filter it down and locate those emails quickly. So the three ways of searching that I'm going to show you are doing it just a simple search where we search for some terms, then doing an advanced search where we are presented with a dialog, much like a desktop application, where we can tab through there and select our parameters. And then using operators. And these are words or you know, phrases that Google has provided or characters that Google has provided for us to be able to quickly conduct a search by typing them in. So I'm going to show you all three of those. So I'm here in my inbox. I'm going to press slash to activate search. Search mail edit has pop up. All right, we hear search mail edit. So let's say I want to search for emails with the word training. I'm just gonna type that in and I'm gonna press enter. Main region. Now, I pressed enter and it's going to present me with those results. If I had used this term training and maybe I search for training events or training webinars or things like that. I could have pressed down arrow to navigate the different options uh, 
suggestions there for my search. But here we are in this list of results, and I can just use my arrow keys to navigate them. Unread, Reddit, quote, world back update, Elizabeth dot dot draft five, FW colon webinar blog post has attachment. So somewhere in that message is the word training. It's not maybe in the subject line. Me, tasks for Gmail training part two. There we go. There's one that has the word training in the subject. So because I just typed in the word training and left it at that, I didn't specify any additional filters. It's going to look for the word training in the subject or the body or even the email address, things like that. So it's just going to look for that, that word. All right, let's do another search. I'm going to go back to my inbox here with G golf, then I for inbox. Main reach. All right. Selected. Now let's press slash again. Search mail edit has. All right. So from here I can tab. Inserted training. And it went ahead and inserted training because that's what I just typed. We'll get rid of that here in a, a, just a minute, but I'm going to tab again. Search refinement toolbar extended select list box. Not selected has attachment. So here we have a toolbar with a few options here, like has attachment. Uh, I can down arrow to go through these. Not selected last seven days. Two emails sent in the last seven days or received. Not selected from me. Three of three. Or from me. I'm going to press escape. I don't want to search by any of those filters right now. Inbox. So I'm going to tab. Banner region. Search region. Advanced search options button. All right. So we have an advanced search options button. I'm going to activate that by pressing space. Search region, inbox left paren 65 right paren dash strainer 100 at gmail.com dash gmail document from edit blank. All right. So it read me my account that I'm in here and it said from blank. It said from edit. So this is the dialogue that I was talking about where we can now use this to select our filters. And the first option we have here is from edit. So I know that I have been sent email from I believe the email address was Vispero Trainer, but I'm just going to type the word Vispero because maybe I don't remember exactly what it was. So I'm just going to type Vispero. Not, not selected Vispero Trainer at gmail.com, Vispero Trainer at gmail.com, one of one. All right, said so one of one. If there were multiple options there, I could down arrow through them. I'm going to press enter to select this email address. From edit, Vispero Trainer at gmail.com. All right, so it, it did filter now. It's going to filter from this email address. So I'm going to press tab to edit blank. So this is useful because, you know, when we, when we think of two, we think, well, of course, the email was sent to me, but maybe the email was sent to a group that you are a member of. So if I was a member of, you know, maybe uh, we, maybe we had a group called the Sparrow Training or something like that, I could filter it even more by typing that in here so that it would only show me mail from this sender to the group, not specifically to me. Or you could just type in your email address here if you wanted it to show you, or you could type the word me, because that's how Google usually does that. If you just want it to show you mail that was sent directly to you. So I'm going to tab. Subject edit, blank. Here I could type in words that might be in the subject. I'll tab again. Has the words edit, training. Has the words. Now it has training from our search before. I'm going to go ahead and backspace that out. G blank. Uh, let's tab again. Doesn't have edit blank. Doesn't have. So here's how this works. If we had, if, if we went back to that previous field and we typed the word trainer, we had just left training in that field. Maybe I want to filter out anything that mentions webinars. So here I could type in the words or the word webinars. So it would filter out any message that had the word webinars. It wouldn't show me that message. Size operator list box collapsed has pop up greater than one of one. So here's where you can choose the size of the message if you know that. So here you can choose whether it's greater than or less than. And then we can tab to this value field and type that in. Size value edit. Size unit list box collapsed has pop up. So here we could choose the size unit like MB megabytes. Uh, so if you know the size, you know, you can filter by size there. Let's just keep pressing tab. Date within list box collapsed has pop up one day. So here you have the date filter where it says, you know, you can filter within one. It, it's selected one day is selected by default. So with, within one day of a certain date, I'm going to down arrow here to open this box. Date within list box expanded has pop up one day. One day. Three days. One week. Two weeks. One month. 
two months, six months, one year. I'm just going to choose one year. I know that's a, a big uh, date range there, but I'm going to choose one year by pressing enter. Date within list box collapsed has pop up one year. All right, let's tab. Date edit 2024 slash 05 slash 02. So this is today's date. Now I could edit this just like I would in any other edit field with my arrow keys. I can two zero two four slash zero five slash zero two blank. I can press right arrow. I could take out the two by backspacing two and type in one. So now it's going to read like this. Date at a 2024 slash 05 slash 01. There we go. I'll tab again. Search within all mail one of one. So this is where you get to choose what label or labels. This is going to choose all mail. So um, that could be useful if I don't know where something is. I don't know what label it's in. Or if I do, I can press down arrow. All mail two of 17. And I can down arrow through my options. Inbox start sent mail drafts or i can press i for inbox for example first letter navigation here inbox and i can enter inbox two of 17. all right i can tab has attachment checkbox not checked i could press space here to check this if i wanted to search for messages that have attachments from the sender that we typed in earlier don't include chats checkbox not checked don't include chats so if i had chats with this sender and I don't want to include them, I could press space here to check that. Search mail button. And here we can search. So I'm just going to press space to activate the search. Search results dash strainer 100 at gmail.com dash gmail document, main region, eight columns and two rows. Trainer, test attachment, has attachment, 12 slash 28 slash 23. So now we have our list of results. We can navigate with our arrow keys. Trainer, me too, test attachment. And there we have it. So that's how you can search using the dialog and really navigate through those filters and refine that search. Main region. Pro All right. Now let's briefly talk about operators. So I'm going to show you how to get to a list of operators, how to read more about them. How do you even know which ones you can use? We're gonna talk about that in just a minute, but I just wanna show you how you can use these. They're very powerful and they are quick. So I'm gonna press slash to activate the search again or navigate over here to search. Search mail edit has pop up. And I can use an operator. For example, I type slash. Now I can type from colon and an email address or I could type to colon and an email address, subject colon and a word or phrase, things like that. So I'm just gonna type from colon and I'll type from a sparrow. From colon vespera trainer at gmail.com. And I'll press enter. Main region, eight columns and three rows. Elizabeth dot dot draft five, FW colon, Elizabeth Whitaker, test message, 12 slash 28 slash 23. And there we go. So now it's going to list all the results. So those operators really do make it, you know, fast. And you can actually use multiple operators within the same search. So you could say, you know, from, uh, no, from colon, no spaces, you type in the email address, and then you can, um, you know, space and have another operator there, you could say subject colon or something like that. So again, operators are just a really quick way of searching. All right, let's go back to our inbox. and Let's talk about how we find a list of operators. How do we get more information about this? Main region. Pro this is where I'm going to turn on the virtual PC cursor because I want to navigate to some help information or guides that Google has provided on this page. So I'm going to press insert Z Zulu on. We're going to go to the top inbox left uh, with control home. You don't have to do that. I just want to because it's near the top. Let's down arrow here. Base none visited link skip to content. None selected. Visit collapsed visited link using Gmail with screen readers. All right. Now that says it's collapsed. It's using Gmail with screen readers. We're going to press space to expand it. Keyboard shortcuts link. So there is a link to a list of keyboard shortcuts. Visited link Gmail left paren standard view right paren guide. So here is a Gmail standard view guide. So we're going to press enter. It's going to open this guide in a new tab. Gmail left paren standard view right. So we still have our email open here. And now we're taken Seven to reuse. We're taken to this page. We can navigate this guide with our uh, letter H because we can navigate through headings. Use Gmail with a screen reader. Quick start heading level two before you begin heading level three. And so forth. What I'm actually looking for here is the word operators. So I'm going to use find. I'm going to press control F Foxtrot. 
Just find dialog. And I'm going to type the word operator and press enter. Use search operators to fine tune your results. To use a search operator, insert it prior to the term you're searching for. Some examples would be colon. And here it's going to actually give you examples of operators that you can use. And let's down arrow through this because there's another link here that's important. List bullet. Left quote bullet. Left quote list and nest bullet. You can combine operators, link search operators you can use with Gmail. And that's what I'm looking for. It's a link that says search operators you can use with Gmail. I'm going to press enter. Main region. And this is going to take us to another page Seven here. region. And let's press H to navigate to that main part of this page. Refine searches in Gmail heading level one. And I believe these are in a table. Two columns and 30 rows. So we can just press the letter T and then we can down arrow. Search operator. Specify the center. From colon. Example colon from colon Amy. So here it says. Uh, from specify the center. What the operator does. It specifies the sender. From colon. It gives us the operator from colon. And it gives us an example. Example colon from colon Amy. So there's where you can go to read more about how to use operators and learn about which ones you can use. When you're finished, you can press control F4. Inbox left paren 65 right paren. That takes us back to the inbox. And let's remember to turn off the virtual PC cursor by pressing insert Z, Zulu. Off. And now we're back in our inbox and we could go ahead and navigate and use our Gmail. So that is how you can search for mail in Gmail with JAWS. This is a really powerful feature. So this lesson is a great addendum if you've already you know, participated in some of the standard view webinars and you are fine tuning how to use Gmail in standard view. All right, absolutely. And just remember if you would like more training on Gmail, you can access that training I mentioned earlier at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. And we will be providing additional Gmail training in the weeks and months to come. Thank you for joining us for 20 minute tech tips. We'll see you next month.